The roots of York Philharmonic male voice choir date back to 1925 when a small group of men met in a terraced house in Lehman Road in York to practice and improve their singing. There were numerous choirs in York at the time. This photograph is of a York male voice choir that existed before its president, Alderman Lancelot Foster, seen in the light-coloured suit, died. The York Philharmonic was photographed in 1935 to mark the celebration of the choir's 10th birthday. Through their dedication and ability to perform, by 1970, members of the Lehman Road group had achieved acclaim, not only in Yorkshire, but internationally. Like their forerunners, they perform a wide range of concerts at numerous locations throughout the year. Their aim is not only to entertain, but also to support local charities. Today, very much like those who met in a terrace house in 1925, the members meet regularly to sing and improve their talents. The choir has more than 60 members and meet on Monday evenings for rehearsal in the Citadel, former home of the Salvation Army in Gillygate. Musical director since 2000 is Berenice Lewis, better known as Berry. She studied languages at York University and has held several posts as teacher of music, director of music and organist. Berry is currently director of music at St Mary's Church in Beverley. She is fluent in both French and German and encourages the choir to perform outside Yorkshire by travelling to Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland and several European countries. In March 2019, Helen Smith was invited to join the group as a accompanist. Helen's husband Rob also joined the choir. He, like many others in the choir, gives solo performances. Red roses too, I see them blue. First on the agenda at rehearsals is a discussion of the day-to-day -day running of the choir and the chairman, Mike Wash, addresses members. He gives notices about dates of future rehearsals and performances. Financial matters might be discussed and particularly during the COVID pandemic, members' health. Several have specific tasks to perform, such as publicity, secretarial work, financial matters, and organizing uniforms. So thanks very much, Bill. But we do need somebody to step in the shoes. Just a couple of things to remind you. Um, we have got a slot for a rehearsal, which is six. Martin Parrott, the stage manager, explains arrangements for the next concert. So we'll have ten minutes or so on the stage for a little bit of a warm up and just sort out exactly where people are going to be stood. Um, we are in the second half, so in the first half we will be sat in the balcony. And those of you who know Joe Row Theatre, you know that's quite a lot of steps um, to get up. Um, and then obviously you've got to come down and go along and then up onto the, the stage itself. So if there is anybody who would rather you know, struggle with that next step. On the left is Roger Samwell, who was secretary of the choir for about 20 years and more recently served as concert manager. He is speaking to Terry Knowles the present concert manager, whose tasks are to arrange public performances, organise publicity, sell tickets, arrange transport and extra rehearsals if needed.
Graham Kay sings baritone and is assistant music director. He gained a choral scholarship at St John's College, Cambridge, and subsequently pursued music as his principal hobby, singing solos on many concert platforms and performing in numerous musical theatre productions. He joined the choir in 2007. His son, Richard, is the deputy musical director and accompanist. He's a very talented conductor, composer and all-round musician who sings in the tenor section of the choir. The choir has four sections, the bass singers who perform the lowest notes, the baritone singers who support the basses and the second tenors, the second and first tenors perform the high notes. Birthdays are often celebrated and how wonderful it must be to have such talented colleagues singing happy birthday to you. One last thing, it's somebody's very important birthday. And you can't get most of more than our wonderful accompanist, Helen Sutton. On Friday, he's going to stand here and be all embarrassed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It might be surprising to hear the choir singing in German, but since 1957, the city of York has been twinned with the German city of Münster. And following the Philharmonic's very successful tour of Holland and Germany in the late 1960s, biannual exchange visits have been arranged with Marcont Male Voice Choir from Münster. Members receive a badge when they have sung with the choir for 15 years. A good number have been with the choir for 25 years, some as many as 50. Tony Sawyer, the longest serving member, joined the choir in 1965. The York Philharmonic Male Voice Choir is a friendly social group and always welcomes new members. The choir is registered as a charity and profits from public events are used to support other charitable organisations. Concert tickets are normally priced at a modest £15 and are available online or at the location. Raffles are often held and refreshments are normally available during the interval. The choir performs at a wide range of locations throughout the year ranging from private events such as wedding and birthday parties to public performances in parish churches, village halls or great historic buildings such as Fountains Abbey and one of Yorkshire's finest buildings to survive Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries, Selby Abbey. Good evening, 
ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm Joanna Margaret. I'm privileged to be the president of York Philharmonic Railway Square. I know some of you know me in other capacities in Selby District Council, but tonight I'm pleased to be here uh, to um, introduce you to the choir. It's so lovely to see you all, and really, really nice to be back here in Selby, and it is magnificent happy. So, just speaking on behalf of myself and our wonderful company, Sam Smith, and the gentleman in the choir behind me, thank you for coming. Thank you for welcoming us. And it's our absolute joy and pleasure to be here. We do hope that you'll enjoy our evening of music. Thank you. 